chaps welcome to John Robson guitar tuition once again as always I do hope you're well bit of a different video today uh, today basically what I'm going to be doing is just offering a, a bit of a personal perspective on what I think uh, a versatile guitar needs to be um, we're also going to be talking a little bit later on in the video about uh, guitars for good causes and I'm getting new subscribers all the time so I'd better just explain what Guitars for Good Causes is. Um, earlier on this year, we're still in 2018 just, uh, earlier on this year I went on YouTube from having about five or 600 subscribers to suddenly it was a thousand, then two thousand, then three thousand, it just grew exponentially. Um, and started earning me money, uh, which is nice and I soon noticed that the uh, the videos that were getting me the most views and therefore earning me the most money were the ones where I was reviewing guitars uh, but obviously I couldn't afford to go out and buy a new guitar every week to make a new video so um, I needed to fund the purchase of guitars in some way. Uh, I did consider doing what a lot of YouTubers do which is to um, you know set up a patreon account and say please give me some of your money so I can go out and buy myself some new guitars which is essentially what a lot of youtubers do um, and I'm not trying to criticize that I'm just saying that to me I'm not comfortable with doing that it just feels a little bit too much like begging and I didn't want to do it so I didn't what I did instead was I set up a GoFundMe page uh, called Guitars for Good Causes. If you want to do donate to it, the link is in the description below. Um, so what happens is that the donations that go to that page, are, uh, I use them to buy guitars. And then once I've reviewed the guitars and made a video and hopefully earned some money from that video, uh, the guitars then get sold. Uh, with proceeds going to uh, Zoe's Place Baby Hospice which is a charity in Middlesbrough which provides palliative, respite and end of life care to children under five with terminal illnesses and basically why I chose that charity is I have no personal connection with them it's just in this part of the world, uh, Teesside in the northeast of England it tends to be the charity that if anybody does anything for charity, you know, a, a fun run or anything like that, you know, it's always usually in aid of Zoe's place. It's the kind of charity around here that everyone supports. I did a bungee jump for them about 20 years ago or so. And that was, yeah, an experience. Anyway, so that's what Guitars for Good Causes is. If you would like to support the cause, then please uh, chip in uh, with a donation below. Now then, um, on to versatile guitars. This guitar is my uh, charity shop Telecaster, which I've uh, documented in many videos, so I won't go through it all again now. But basically, it is exactly what it looks like. It's a it's a Telecaster style guitar with uh, three pickup combinations: the usual three bridge, bridge and middle, uh, sorry, bridge and neck, and then neck pickup. So you got three. Um, pick up sound pick up combinations on this guitar this guitar on the other hand is a Harley Benton fusion pro um, something or other can't remember uh, but anyway I've done a few wiring mods to it um, and basically now this one has 13 count them 13 pick up combinations which you can see uh, flashing past you on the screen at the moment and you would think that this guitar would be hands down the winner in terms of versatility over this guitar but I'm not so sure um, as a working guitar player I've played in hundreds of bands in just about any style you can think of I've played um, in blues bands I've played um, in country and western bands more than one of those I've played uh, shoegazy jangly indie pop I've played uh, 80s spandex and poodle perm hair metal uh, you know warrant rat all that sort of stuff I had the hair in those days to be able to do that as well <laughs> but sadly that's no longer with us um, 
and I've always used like either a Telecaster or a Strat style guitar and never found myself you know missing any any sounds that I needed and uh, since I kind of discovered the joys of the Telecaster um, a few years ago I, I haven't really played it I don't think I own a Strat now in fact I don't own a Strat the last one went a few years ago um, in terms of the sounds that I need I need basically a, a nice warm clean transparent uh, tone for general accompaniment work maybe a bit like this I also need um, a, a sort of a classic rock crunchy overdrive for power chords and riffing, a bit like this. And then flip that sound to the neck pickup, uh, and you get a, a, a kind of a vintagey, sort of warm, clean ish, but not quite sound that's good for uh, bluesy kind of rhythm guitar playing or um, some um, restrained lead guitar work. wind up the gain a little bit and uh, go for a big high gain sound for uh, rock lead playing. <laughs> then flip that sound to the neck pickup and you've got um, a nice Texas blues brass knuckled uh, lead guitar sound in very much in the vein of someone like Stevie Ray Vaughan. <laughs> Those are the sounds that have um, been my professional tools, if you like, over the past 20 odd years. And, you know, out of, as you can see, I was getting them all out of the guitar with just the three pickup uh, combinations. Was it, whereas I say this one has 13. So, you know, what, what extra am I getting for me money with, with a guitar like this? I, don't get me wrong, I love this guitar. It, plays beautifully and uh, it has a, a hugely wide palette of, of sounds so if I want to be able to impersonate a Strat then on the next song play something that sounds quite Telecasterish and then on the next song play something that sounds quite Les Paul like I can do that but um, I can get a sound that will fit in any of those contexts maybe not a facsimile of the original sound but a sound that will work from this guitar with a much simpler uh, setup you know I've got a pickup selector and a volume control and a tone I suppose but you know I tend to use the pickup selector and volume control um, really on this guitar and that's it whereas on this guitar I've got um, you know a pickup selector a mini switch and a push pull switch or a push push switch rather to uh, navigate between the sounds and you know it's just that little bit more of a faff around on this guitar than it is on this one so you know it tends to be this type of guitar well actually the uh, the Cabernita version of this which I, I tend to use more these days that I, I reach for um, regardless of what style I'm going to be playing in so there you go um, 
that that's just a, a personal conclusion that I've come to. You know, just because a guitar has twice or three times as many pickup combinations as another another guitar, it doesn't really add up to a reflection on the versatility of the guitar. So there you go. I would be interested in hearing what your thoughts on this uh, question are, um, and I suppose you could apply the same argument to a pedal board. Um, do you need um, all kinds of different delays and overdrives and stuff like that on, on a pedal board as you see some guitarists have or are you more of a fan of um, just having a basic simple setup, less to go wrong, easier to navigate and uh, you know you can always seem to find the tone that works you know for any given context that you're in. Let me know in the comments below. Anyway on to guitars for good causes. Um, I've got some numbers for you. Uh, let's have a look at my notes here. Okay, so let's begin with uh, money received from GoFundMe. Uh, GoFundMe have a, a, a curious way of uh, passing the money on. Uh, you get it in uh, fits and starts and a, you'll get a big uh, withdrawal one week and then nothing the next week and then nothing for a few weeks and then you know it's I've tried to understand it but uh, it's beyond me anyway the previous balance that was in the GoFundMe um, fund was 43 pounds and 62 pence when I did the last update since then I've had uh, a withdrawal of 269 pounds and 90 pence and another one of 48 pounds and 30 pence making a total in the fund of 361 pounds and 82 pence uh, out of that I spent uh, 272 pounds and 67 on one of these um, a Harley Benton Fusion Pro guitar which I enjoyed so much that I actually bought another one out of my own uh, bank account for myself um, because it's a, a lovely guitar um, that was £262.67 uh, uh, then I spent £34.95 on a pedal uh, a Joyo British sound pedal which I would love to be able to review for you but unfortunately it took ages to turn up and when it arrived it was defective so I'm currently going through the return process on that uh, and hope to bring you the review sometime soon anyway um, out of that 361.82 that was in the fund, I therefore spent uh, 307 pounds and 62 pence, uh, meaning that there is a current balance in the GoFundMe uh, pot of 54 pounds and 20 pence. Now, let's have a look at the important side of the equation: the money that has gone to Zoe's place. Uh, when I did the last video, um, the total that had been donated then was £1,614.50. And uh, since then, uh, I sold the Harley Benton DC Custom. If you remember that one, that was like the SG copy. Um, that raised £250. Um, I also sold the Harley Benton Fusion Pro uh, which raised £275. We made a profit on that one. Uh, well we made a profit on both of them but um, the reason why I was surprised we made a profit on the uh, Harley Benton was on the, on, the, on the Fusion guitar was because like a day or so after I bought it uh, Tom Ann dropped the price <laughs> so it went down from uh, I think it was 272 that I paid for it uh, they reduced them to I think about 220 pounds and anyway because of the wiring mods that I did to it which the, uh, the the buyer requested that I do and the setup work that I did on it he was happy to pay 275 pounds for that guitar uh, which um, if we add that to um, the money that's been raised via the prize draw excuse me a second the prize draw that you may know about which is for this pedal this is a line 6 m5 stomp box model or a fantastically versatile uh, pedal which can give you tube driver sounds uh, tube screamer sounds rather um, all kinds of classic um, effects of yesteryear like uh, the original Boss CE1 chorus is in here 
um, a lot of great classic pedals uh, residing within this and it was very kindly donated to the, to, the, to this channel uh, for you know the, the guitars for good causes by a very generous viewer you know who you are thank you very much what I decided to do was to raffle this pedal um, and there's still time to enter it yourself if you would uh, like to do that uh, send a donation of five pounds uh, or more to Zoe's Place Baby Hospice the link is down below in the description and on the 1st of January 2019 I'll be drawing the uh, the winner from all of the entries and somebody's going to be getting this pedal if you if you donate five pounds you get entered once ten pounds you get entered twice and so on and so on all you got to do is send confirmation of your donation like your PayPal receipt or a screenshot of of that receipt or whatever to me at the at the email address you can see on screen anyway um, adding the 250 pounds from the Harley Benton DC custom the 275 pounds from the Harley Benton Fusion Pro and the 105 pounds that uh, has been received by Zoe's place in return for uh, entry into this draw uh, that brings us to a grand total of donations to Zoe's place of two thousand two hundred and forty four pounds and fifty pence we've smashed that two grand um, target that I set in the last uh, Vid in the last update video so thank you thank you thank you to everyone who's donated money to GoFundMe who's donated uh, equipment to uh, the channel so that it can be sold with uh, uh, proceeds going to Zoe's place who's, you know if you've donated anything or bought anything uh, then thank you so much you've raised an incredible amount of money for a very very worthy cause and I've said this before and I'll just say it again now if ever any of you are in red car you've got me phone number it's uh, at the end of all of these videos drop me a text and I will I promise go out and buy you a pint just don't all turn up on the same day it could get expensive anyway that's pretty much it for today folks don't forget if you would like to own this pedal then uh, you know what to do donate to Zoe's place as described earlier if you would like to see uh, some more equipment reviews on this channel then uh, donate some money to the GoFundMe page and you will be helping me grow my YouTube channel you will be helping Zoe's place you know it's a it's a win-win situation and finally I will just say as always that if you would like some tailored one-to-one -one guitar tuition then please get in touch with me via the details at the end of this video if you live on Teesside in the northeast of England, you can come along for a face to face lesson. Or wherever you are in the world, you can have a lesson via Skype. And whichever way you do it, your first lesson's free. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And with that, I'll look forward to seeing you all again next time and say thank you for watching this time. And I'll just say have a good day and bye for now, folks. Thank you so much. See you next time.